Welcome back YouTube, it is Two Point Show, coming back with more Idle Heroes content. Today we're going to take on Broken Spaces, and we got a pretty good account to do it. Too bad I kind of suck in this aspect, at least I think I do. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of the first time that I'm doing this, and I decided to do a post-com, so... All of this has been already done, and I just want to run through it with you guys real quick, for my sake, and for everyone else's, just so that you can see what is what. But anyways, before we get too into it, let's cue that intro. I'll be right back. So anyways, as I was saying, um, right now I'm just kind of showing you the team and the basic gear. I'll be changing it throughout the video, and for the most part, it doesn't change too, too much, but, you know, some artifacts here and there, um, the enables will change depending on who we're facing, um, but yeah, like I said, I've never really done this and I just kind of wanted to get a baseline something that you know I can look back next month and try to beat I don't have any personal record that I'm going for but I figured this count could get me the best record that I'm hoping for I had some basic outlines from the dude who owned the, the account before and I just tried to match that so similarly with basically everything that I did. Um, <clears throat> I didn't really know the, you know, enables or the gearing, but that's where I kind of took it into my own and just tried to figure out what I was, you know, wanting to do. Um, so for the most part, I'm just showing one or two fights, um, different team composition, placement, gearing, and all of that. So if you guys have any similar teams, artifacts, any of that nature, um, you guys could get kind of an estimation of what it'll be like, who can do the most damage, this and that. First two stages, super, super easy, as I expected. Um, one thing that I do want to note was that the enables weren't even set correctly for the first three bosses. I figured that out halfway through the the third fight but as you can see team is decent um i guess if you really wanted to you could make heart watcher e5 and you could make sigmund e5 just to maximize the damage sigmund is decent in my opinion and um you know 10 star he's really good but at e5 he'll just do more damage so there's that the rest of the team though i think is really good for what I have. Obviously, multi scary teams, phenomenal. From what I've heard, multiple Das Mogs are also phenomenal. Um, but one thing that I kind of dislike um, about, I'd say, a majority of teams is, you know, the Phoenix. Everyone's got to deal with that. It could hit the worst people every single time, which, you know, does happen. It's not really frequent. And then Penny, every time that, like, I've seen her, she does fantastic damage. And the screenshots that I saw, she went off, like, completely. But this, again, this fight it, itself, the enables are off. Um, they're kind of more set for tanky. Which, again, they can still take these guys out. But, like, if Penny doesn't crit... She doesn't really do much, which kind of saddens me. Aspen's kind of the same way. Um, you know, if he doesn't get lucky, then it's really not in your favor. There we go. Aspen pulling most of the weight. Horus, though. I've never had a Horus, and I really love him. I think, you know, for the most part, he does really consistent damage. It's not always the highest, but it's usually really consistent. So anyways... Um, the enables are still wrong on this fight, and you'll see, um, going into it, the damage just really 
is not there, and I believe I correct that after this fight. I might have done it, um, I might have corrected some, because I remember kind of cutting out for a second. But, for the most part, I think that the team as a whole is incorrect. But, we should find that out very, very soon. Um, still, one thing that I noticed, especially with a majority of the E5 team, and then Belrain with a healer, the damage is never really an issue. I mean, stage 7, it kind of can be. Um, stage 6 has crazy, crazy CC, as well as 4, it's got some, um, you know, so it's, it's a give and take, but that's why I showed Gustin a little bit, we're going to use him. Um, I ended up not using Ada at all, I just didn't figure that, you know, she would be worth placing Aspen or Horus or Penny, um, or whenever I threw Gustin in there, I just didn't really feel like it would be super beneficial, um, but still, you know, it could be an option. On my main account, I do run her occasionally, but the badges total for my account they're close to like 250 if it's unoptimal if it's you know the best it can be it might be closer to like 220 which again is horrible if you're going for a benchmark of how good you can go i think the lowest i did was like 190 something um but again i'm assuming i got super lucky four billion damage not too bad not too bad overall okay so penny did really good aspen did really good but, from what I was told, um, that the first time, you know, maybe not the first time, but whenever he did this, Margaret's were almost dead. And they lived with a lot. And I think this one I changed it, but um, the first Margaret just went down, and I think we killed the second one. I would be astonished if we don't. But... You know, we couldn't get an accurate test to compare them to. But still, honestly, 4 billion damage. That's not bad, in my opinion. And that one looks like it would be a lot higher. Yeah, Penny did so much more. Um, Aspen kind of went off. And Horus, I guess, kind of where it was. It, end, it ended five rounds early. And the second or first Margaret went down really quick. So again, not, not too bad um, overall. Kind of makes sense to me. I believe I fixed it on that one. But on to stage four. This one can be, you know, problematic just because the grooves are so, I guess, supportive of each other. Like they just lower crit and attack so much, which we definitely struggle to in this one. Part of me wanted to throw Gustin in there um, just because. You know, I knew that he could take those debuffs away, potentially. Or at least I think. Again, I don't have a Gustin on my own, and I haven't, you know, tested him crazy. But I'm pretty sure he does that, um, takes any debuff away. Um, so again, you know, we probably could have taken someone out. Um, and the problem with this is, like, Penny doesn't crit, for example. And Aspen doesn't really go off as much. So, kind it kind of sucks. Um, but for this, I definitely think that you need Sigmund and Heart Watcher completely to maximize your damage. You know, what little you have. Um, so, that's just my view. Speeding this up, because again, this fight would take forever. Um, but as you can see, we're like barely denting them. Which again comes down to some RNG. Um, but again, this is the same way that he set it up. I don't know exactly the stones, but I just kind of guessed. Um, Sigmund is rocking Antler's Cane. I believe I switched um, Horus to Augustus Magic Ball. Penny's still running crit. Uh, or Punisher Staff of Immortal, my apologies. And then Sigmund is running some kind of warrior damage, I believe. 
Um, so again, I think that it's set up fairly well. Heart Watcher still has Ruin's power. Um, she could probably have something else, I suppose. They're not going to do any damage. And then Belrain, I feel like she just kind of stays the same for most of it. I could be wrong, um, you know, from what the original tests were. But again, um, maybe I'll show my artifacts and all that in a future video so that we could try to maximize this and get your guys' input on it. But for the most part, I really am just confused. Because like the damage numbers that he showed in screenshots that he sent me were so much higher. Um, finally, this is wrapping up. Horse, nice nice damage right there. Penny didn't crit, sadly. Let's see what Aspen does. He should be... Um, he actually, he, he doesn't even have a, an active. Maybe we missed it. Still, didn't crit right there. So, again, I think that that's half of it. If it, you know, comes down to it, it's really, really sad. Almost two billion. That's kind of sad. Um, Aspen did decent, but, like, Horus outdamaged Penny, which... I guess, you know, if Penny critted more, she would out damage. But again, every screenshot that this dude showed me, Penny went off, like ridiculous. Um, but again, you know, Gru kind of counteracts all of that. So, it makes sense. And again, I just want to get an average, uh, you know, just five smashes, see where it's at. Um, I feel like some of the matches were really good. Because, you know, the damage percentage just dropped a whole lot more. Um, but again, you know, could be 50-50. But that's that for the Gru Wave. Um, just kind of want to check in one more time and just kind of see where everything is at. But again, I didn't want to sit here through you know, 10 fights, and just to see them counterattack. That would have taken me forever. Um, the whole run-through, because I watched a few that I'll cut out, and, you know, swapping stuff around, it took a while, for sure. It took me about 40 minutes. Um, so if you guys want to watch your own, expect that. So, the other Gru died super early, so I didn't really feel like checking... Um, you know, the damage and all that, but still, 1.2, which means our first run was, like, horrible luck, because if the other group stayed alive, that number probably would have gone up significantly, you know, from counterattacks, blocks, from Horus, this and that, burns, um, but Gru died at, like, round six, so that can really affect your damage, um, but anyways, moving on, I don't know how many tokens we've used, but quite a bit, and I feel like we used, you know, between 20, 25, correct me if I'm wrong down below, um, for Gru, so I don't think that that's too bad, we might have even used 30, which again, I can live with not too bad, especially comparing it to my main account, um, but still, I just feel like that's a lot of tokens. So anyways, moving on, we have Jara, right? Is that this one? Or is that the next one? I feel like it's Jara. Yeah, okay, Jara and Valentino again. And the CC here could be really horrible if you guys get super unlucky, which is why I threw Gustin in. Um, he sent me two screenshots, one um, with Horace, one with Penny. Again, Penny hasn't been doing it for me today, so I figured I would go with Horus first. Um, but again, with all of the, you know, debuffs, CC, that they throw at us, Gustin can really make or break it. You know, Fastbin continuously gets stunned down, locked down, whatever. Horus is really nice, though, because he can break out of it, which is another reason why I like him a little bit more than Penny. But again, you know, it's kind of whatever floats your boat, whatever you f you're feeling. 
Um, so there's that. I don't know. I kind of have a an appreciation for Aspen just because, you know, he was, I think, one of my first E5 for light and dark. And, you know, he was super strong back in the day. Still is, for sure. Um, whenever they drop below 35% or something, you know, he can really, really shine. But still, uh, I'm not sure. And it's funny because his Aspen and mine are built the exact same, both for attack, attack, antlers, cane, rocking, full gear. So, you know, sometimes it's the day, sometimes it's Bell Rain doing this or that, or Heart Watcher getting CC'd. Really just depends. Um, but still, 2.3, not fantastic. I wish that I checked the damage score, um, but sadly I didn't. And again, this, this one was a total misclick. I didn't mean to take Gustin out in this. But again, it's always cool to see. Um, you know, sometimes misclicks happen. No big deal. We have more than enough tokens to finish this month and next month, so I'm not too worried. Um, but again, to see what they're doing is all a part of it for me. We'll skip it. No big deal. 3.4. Really, you know, I was kind of shocked. But as you can see here, you know, Penny might not have been CC'd. Um, this and that, I expected that to be probably one of the worst ones. <clears throat> but, again, that was one of our highest damage numbers. Everything probably just went decent for us. Um, but, you know, I tried... Swapping Horus out for Gustin, that wasn't really it for me, you know, on this given day. So I decided leave Gustin out of it, you know, completely and just see what happens. So anyways, this one on my main account is one of the worst ones. Um, between Corpse Demon and Oberon, the CC is just ridiculous. Or, you know, it can be. Um, but having... A full team that's mostly E5 helps so much for Purify in and of itself. Having Gustin to remove anything, you know, it's really good as well. So, I would definitely recommend Gustin on this one. Again, the damage with Bell Rain, you're not really looking too bad. You know, if you don't have Bell Rain, if you don't have Gustin, Amon Ra is a really strong support hero as well. Um, I have one on my account, and I would say she's the reason that I'm doing as good as I can be. And before monthly resets happen, I'm going to 10-star Amon Ra um, on this account. So, like, maybe next time we can test it with her. Um, but again, 10-star Amon Ra compared to E5 Bell Rain, you know, it kind of isn't fair, because Bell Rain not only does a different job, but she does it better because she is a higher enable. <clears throat> uh, the only thing that I like really love about my Amon Ra, obviously the shields help for sure, but her like extra passive damage whenever everyone else, you know, goes off, really ups her numbers. And it, you know, kind of makes it seem like she does a lot more work than she is doing, you know, because it is kind of based on other heroes if it was just her her numbers would be so much less but still you know she is really strong um <clears throat> sorry my throat is really dry i haven't done a super long video in forever but again almost two billion that's pretty bad um but again you know it kind of it's worse on my account so I really don't mind it all that much. <clears throat> I do apologize. Um, but again, I want to see what Penny's all about. So let's throw her in there. Um, I probably, you know, looking back, should have moved Asp into slot 2. You know, I don't really think that Horus, or my bad, that Sigmund would die. Because 
I put the, um, I don't know what it's called, the Relentless or Fearless Armor um, for the um, Fortress Faction on him, where he gets an extra bonus for HP. So, you know, again, I was just kind of worried because on my account, you know, my whole team isn't as leveled up as this. Some of them die sometimes, you know, if Amon Ra's not doing her job or really anything. Um, and my Sigmund has died multiple times, so I figured rather play it safe. I probably shouldn't have, and I probably should have thrown, you know, really anything. Could have thrown Kiss a Ghost on him. Um, I could have taken the Punisher Staff when Penny wasn't in there. Really just anything to give him extra damage. Um, Punisher Staff's probably a horrible artifact on him, but for damage comparison... You know, if he can live, it might not be as bad. But still, again, you know, this is kind of why I feel like I'm doing this. And this is why I chose to do a post-commentary. You know, look back on it and just kind of reflect a little bit more. Because I miss this completely. Um, so, again, it's cool to see this. And I think it's really going to help me in the long run um, to have this kind of in the back of my mind and on the channel for whenever I want to watch it. And again, if you guys are ever stuck at any stage, you know, feel free to refer back to this. Again, it's not optimal for sure. 1.7. So that was a little bit worse. But again, as we said, the placements could have been, you know, a little bit better. Aspen did significantly worse, um, if I recall. But still, smash through that, moving on. This one is honestly horrible for a lot of teams. Um, for my team, it's just the damage. Like, outright, it's a little bit ridiculous for me. But I saw this in one of the screenshots, and I just thought that it was super interesting. Um, so, again, I believe I recorded two different runs. Um, we'll see. But um, I just thought that it was really interesting how, you know, maybe a 9-star, he added a 6-star, but still, 9-star, 6-star Deathsworn would be better um, than, you know, having Horus or Penny or, you know, just an extra slot. Um, so, that's what I'm doing. And again, I don't know if I did something wrong or what happened, but... These numbers, sadly, are not comparable to what he did. Again, maybe it was a horrible day. Because, you know, I kind of messaged him a little bit. And, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Something to look back on. But still, overviewing this one. Um, I can already see the damage is kind of ramping up a little bit. And actually, I think someone goes down, if I recall correctly. Um, yes, yeah, yeah. This this one, again, um, is a pretty horrible run, if I recall correctly. But we'll just have to wait, find out. So again, Aspen didn't do anything. And then his Aspen, yeah, took down our Aspen, Bell Reigns up. Um, again, if I didn't have Unbending on Belrain, this would have just been the worst run ever. Um, but again, I learned from that. I didn't think that he would do that. Um, and still, you know, it was kind of ridiculous, in my opinion. But, you live and you learn. The damage on this one, probably the worst overall. But, let's find out. Um, again, if you guys have any recommendations let me know down below i always would love to hear about it and you know if someone counted from the start how many tickets we used that would be kind of interesting to see as well um so again i would appreciate that but either way you know i just want to thank anyone for watching and if you made it this far please subscribe i'm trying to grow super bad one million one Bill, my bad. That was horrible. 
Um, I didn't even want to look at the damage score. But anyways, as I was saying, if you guys would subscribe, you've already made it this far. And it would greatly, greatly support me. And if there's anything else you guys want to see in the future, let me know down below. Because that is, you know, the whole reason I'm making it. And again, I wanted to throw that in there just to show you that, like, we did 700 million more. So, anyways, that is it. Make sure you guys complete your monthlies. It's really important. Even if you don't have the card, just the resources that you get from it are, you know, really, really good. So, anyways, that's it. I'm going to leave you guys off. Thanks for watching. Anyways, guys, this is Two Point Show signing out. Hope you guys all have a good one. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.